A young woman born into a polygamous cult based in Salt Lake City is speaking in public for the very first time after exposing an alleged multi-million dollar business fraud by members of the Klan. Mary Nelson is her name. She escaped Utah, Utah's Kingston Klan, or the Order. It's also called that, a breakaway Mormon group with the help of her now husband, Brian. The couple worked with the IRS and the FBI to uncover an alleged $500 million scam. In tonight's episode of Whistleblower, Nelson discusses her journey from Kingston Klan member to government informant with host, judge, and former police officer, Alex Ferrer. Mary, who are these individuals? Those are all my siblings. Do you miss them? Yes, I miss them very, very much. When I found out that Mary's father had over 200 children, I knew something was very wrong. My father has 18 wives. Mary Nelson is telling all how she became an unlikely whistleblower against prominent members of her Sorry, own family. That this is the work of the Lord. The Kingston clan. They give you instructions. They say, don't ask questions. On February 10th, 2016, after going to the federal government, a series of events that Mary helped set in motion exploded. A major show of force at several businesses owned by the Kingston Polygamous Group. The raids were part of an investigation into an alleged money laundering scheme funding lavish lifestyles of some prominent Kingstons, from mansions to exotic cars, while other members live near the poverty line. It was more like an organized crime family. Mary might never have become a whistleblower if she hadn't met Brian Nelson, a fellow student at Salt Lake Community College who helped her escape the Klan after she says she was ordered to marry her 17-year-old cousin. There was nothing that was going to get in my way of stopping this. After the escape, the couple married and eventually had two children. Hey, how was preschool today, buddy? Mary told Brian what she had seen while working at the Kingston's own private bank. Did you forge documents when you worked there? Yeah, so we were given just stacks and stacks of checks and just signing them, signing them. And they would just deposit that, just whatever account they needed. Washakie Renewable Energy appears to be the most profitable business owned by group members. So when Mary was telling me this is the biggest company that the order has, I started to immediately suspect fraud. According to the government, Washakie's founders, brothers Jacob and Isaiah Kingston, falsified the company's tax filings to obtain a massive $511 million worth of fraudulent tax credits. Right then and there, I said, we got them. That's the beginning of the end. What made you decide to become a whistleblower? We didn't know that that's what we were. We knew that something had to change. Were you ever afraid that the Kingston group would find out that you and Brian were the informants who went to the FBI? I'm still very, very scared about that. You were afraid that they were gonna hunt you down? Yeah. The Kingston Group says it condemns in the strongest terms fraudulent business practices, and they stress that this behavior goes completely against our beliefs and principles. It also says that business owners who are members of the group have the autonomy to make their own business decisions. Alex Ferrer joins us at the table. This is a very troubling story. Listen, yes. she just mentioned that she was scared and afraid. So how worried are they about retaliation? Mary and Brian, what are they Very doing? worried, yeah. and, and rightfully so. Court records revealed text messages from Jacob Kingston, uh, one of the brothers, uh, relating to an enforcer where he asks for a two-for-one deal and, and a bulk discount. And uh, the government alleges that the two brothers hired an enforcer to intimidate and harm Witnesses and the text messages seem to pretty clearly point to the whistleblowers. Wow. 18 wives, more than 200 children. Uh, basically, children, it seems, according to the whistleblowers, are used like an ATM. They, yeah. they, they're they're a, the basis for a lot of yeah. different fraud against the government, which they call bleeding the beast. Alex, it's ingrained. It's a troubling story indeed. Alex, yes. good to see you again. Good to see you too. You can watch Whistleblower's new episode, Polygamy, Power and Profits, The Case Against the Kingston. That's tonight, 8, 7 central, right here on CBS.